Hey, hello everyone, and I'm back with a new video. In the previous video, I've told you some stuff, crypto information for beginners. Um, I will tell you some more information, but first we're going to do a quick recap what I told you in the previous video. So, um, yeah, I started with the coin market cap website. It's just uh, important to have a website that gives you an overview of all these coins you know I mean there are 1500 coins and it's good to have an, uh, an overview and you have a lot of different websites so definitely not uh, this is not the only one some people don't like coin market cap so yeah just uh, be aware that you need to have some information for yourself to, um, uh, to check this but I think I like uh, coin market cap I mean um, it gives um, it gives information information about the website also um, when you check over here you can look at the markets where Bitcoin is uh, is being sold so when you press on the coin you can see this information like I mentioned in the previous video the inf uh, important stuff circulating supply and the maximum supply when you buy a coin you need to watch these things uh, this is very important when, uh, when 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 there's a very big maximum supply it's logical that the price is low because there are a lot of those coins just 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 think about it same with gold why is gold so precious because there is minimum uh, there's a max there's a certain amount of gold more people want it there is a, a maximum supply so the price rises but when you have a maximum supply that is very high yeah the, the price wouldn't rise so much this is why bitcoin is the crazy price at this moment it only uh, has 21 million coins uh, and at this moment there are um, over 16 million mined and within a, within a few years we will have the 21 million of Bitcoin and there isn't more so yeah the price will, will only rise more you know uh, I really like the chart also that you see here um, can zoom in all of course what you want if you look here you, it looks like a big bubble of uh, Bitcoin if you uh, would watch here but and here you can see what's happening today I really like these uh, graphs gives you very uh, straightforward information you know uh, I always like to watch the total market cap uh, in my opinion, it just gives you an, an, a good view what's happening here. I mean, a few weeks ago, it was a lot higher, the total market cap, and it went a lot better with, uh, with the cryptocurrencies. But with all the FUD that is spreading, all the stuff that this media is doing to, uh, to destroy cryptocurrencies, which isn't working, but it, 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 it just um, lowers the price, you know? Um, or, or it... it, it um, keeps the market on pause if you can, can say it like that um, but yeah that's coin uh, coin market cap I like this website also cryptomops.org gives you a good uh, overview if you just want to know well, what the hell's happening you know um, some stuff uh, to calculate and maybe I didn't do the right explanation because when you are going to start and <laughs> you don't know what to uh, what to do. You don't even have an um, an, uh, an uh, yeah. yeah you you have nothing. Uh, you first need to have a wallet, just like with normal money. I mean, where are you going to store that money? You can can put it uh, just in your pocket? No, you need an, an 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 wallet. Same goes for the cryptocurrencies. So a very familiar wallet is. Exodus, I also inst I already installed it, and yeah, you, you can go and just download the wallet. You can see it has a very nice uh, interface, and when you've downloaded it, you can go to this wallet uh, icon over here, and you will have an address, an, uh, an address to receive money. 
and but obviously when you have a wallet like this it is um, totally uh, empty and you need to have some Bitcoin um, there are a lot of different websites some websites you can buy um, the bitcoins or other cryptocurrencies directly and um, and, and, they, and they have a website with a wallet attached to it but that's what I was mentioning in the previous video you don't want to store your money at a third party so best thing is to go to a specific uh, um, the website where I buy my uh, stuff is any coin direct you can see over here and then you can um, just buy your um, um, Bitcoin or other coins and then it will uh, ask for an address and you get the address from your wallet over here I was just thinking this is the most bad uh, explanation in the uh, you know I, do, I had to do this earlier in the, in the, in the at, at first this information but what the hell you know it's just still in, uh, important information so let's talk some more about wallets um, this is a wallet that is um, not very safe uh, to be honest I mean it is m more safe than keeping your uh, money on an exchange but when a hacker comes in it can it it is hackable uh, stuff like this but when you have a hardware wallet, um, like a, uh, I forgot the name, Trezor, Ledger wallet, um, then, you, then you need to, um, you can't do it, uh, you, you can't um, enter the wallet uh, with, with internet only. You need to do something physical, you need to press the button, and uh, you need to have that in your hand, and that makes it super, um, super safe. So if you if you have a few a few dollars you can uh, store it on a wallet like this, but else if you have a couple of thousand dollars definitely keep it on a hardware wallet. You even have a paper wallet, hardware wallet comes in very handy. And what I want to tell you is some information about Binance, the um, platform where I uh, trade. And yeah, there are a lot of different platforms. When you look on Coin Market Cap, you can see that um, um, there are a lot of different um, exchanges. When you when you press on a uh, specific coin, where, where where can I buy? You see a lot of exchanges. Don't go just on any exchange. You know, I mean, you push your money there, so you need to be sure that it's safe. Binance is a very safe. Um, um, exchange uh, oh, uh, used by a lot of people in the in the industry. Uh, it's still not as good as putting your money on a hardware wallet. But I mean, this is where you can buy all the coin, all these coins. I mean, just look at this. You have a lot of coins. Um, some websites uh, where you can buy them, they only have uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. You know, but this uh, website has a lot. And when you click on it, then you see a lot of information. This can be very overwhelming, but this is basically very simple. I mean, price can go low or the price can go high. And here it's all happening. Buy and sell. I mean, a lot of information here, but here, this is where it's all happening. You buy or you sell. It's actually, look at this, it's almost like gambling. 25%, 50%, so this is how much of your, uh, what you have. So let's say you have one Bitcoin and you want to buy this. Nah. Okay, so I buy uh, for what I have, I, I, I put in 25%. And this is that you buy from the best market price. Here you can set a limit, so you don't want to buy it now, but let's say you think, no, I think I, will, I can buy it here for this price here. Then you fill that in here, and you can buy that on that certain limit, on that price. Stop limit is a bit more advanced, but 
I mean, that's basically what you what you um, what you need to know. I mean, um, you need to study these graphs, know what you are buying, do your research. But I mean, you don't have to, you don't need to make it too difficult for yourself. But most important thing is that when you um, go to an um, uh, or, or when you are on Binance and you want to buy a coin it's important that you know what you are buying um, I mean uh, if you are doing this for a long term like I would advise I mean if it, if it is a couple of cents uh, more expensive or whatever it doesn't matter a lot I mean you don't know what the market will do tomorrow so if you want to buy a coin yeah, study it. You don't want to buy it at all-time highs, but um, yeah, you can just j j just buy it. It's better to buy in layers. So you buy 50% today or 25% today, and wait for a couple of hours or wait for a day. But you don't know what what's hap will happen tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow um, it will go to the moon, and you had a chance to buy cheap today. But you waited and now you need to buy expensive tomorrow because yeah you know is this a choice that you need to make but what is super important is that you know what you are going to buy because if you buy a bullshit coin it wouldn't it wouldn't do anything and you will be in big problem because you will invest in a coin and it will invest in a good coin like neo let's uh, check this out i mean it had a bad time over here um if you look to the bitcoin price this is this line it had a bad period over here you know but it is no big deal but look what was uh, again happening here so this is just what i want to tell you um don't make it too difficult for yourself and yeah last thing i would i just wanted to give you as a tip give do your research check the website you know uh, what they are doing uh, read on the internet not what the media uh, the mainstream media but what other uh, crypto investors and um, people that are in this for years what they are saying about the coin uh, do your research first your your uh, your uh, input your uh, your mindset uh, your ideas are the most important then verify with uh, people in the business uh, what they are uh, saying about it and then maybe do uh, a less research to come to your conclusion um, but don't make it too difficult for yourself um, you need to know the basics but if you do this on a long term and you you do your research every day yeah you will um, you will be okay um, I hope this video was any helpful I'm not going to stop with this I'm just getting started let me know uh, if you enjoyed it and uh, happy trading everyone, have a great day, peace.